was digging on a bass down, up, down, up for the strum pattern, like the G would be the low E bass, and then a down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, low E bass, down, up, down, bass, down, up, down. And then when you go to the C, you could do the A for the bass. Bass down, down, bass down, up, bass down. If that seems really, really too fast for you, <laughs> depending on your level, you could do down, down, up on each chord. where I put in country feel. This is if you were Hank. <laughs> um, you could do low E for the bass, and then a down, and then D string for what's called the fifth of the chord, and then a down. You've got low E down, D down, low E down, D down. And then for the C, you could do the A string third fret, and then move the third finger to the low E third fret to get a G note, which is a bass note, and then kind of a down there. So that's a little weird, so the C's kind of move. You'll see where I got to have a diagram, like at the bottom left. A string third down, Louis down, third, A third, Louis third, A third, Louis third. And so if you kind of dig on that, you can do it that way. And really the Hank would have done it would be like, Goodbye Joe, we gotta go, me oh my, we gotta go down, we go down the battle. Same chords, but uh, yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I don't think Hank did, done it this way. <laughs> but anyway, good tune, good request, uh, hope that helps, best of luck. Don't forget to subscribe